Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for you here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the new update to the particles.js widget found at museforyoushop.com. Um, it is now particles.js widget 1.3, and one of the new updates is that there's now been a a particles.js full screen widget that has been added, and it fills the particles within the entire browser. Uh, so in this video tutorial, we're going to recreate this website with these particles uh, within the browser. And I'll just go over here to the widget page. And here in the change log, here are the updates. There's the ability to have the particles widget container be responsive using the built-in Adobe Muse resize option. And the particles.js widget full screen has been added um, to allow the particles.js widget to fill the entire browser. And over here we have a few of the widget options and the preview here and a video here as well. Uh, so to get access to this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Um, the particles.js widget is right down here. And here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year so i'll go ahead and showcase the new updates in adobe muse um, so i'll jump here right into adobe muse and i'll go to file new site and i'll click ok and i'll double click on the home page uh, then i'll go to the library panel um, if you don't see the library panel you can go to window and click on library and here i'll type in particles uh, .js. And here we have the particles.js widget and the particles.js widget full screen. Uh, so the first update I'm going to show is uh, the update to the particles.js widget here, uh, where the widget container um, can now be responsive using the resize option in Adobe Muse. Um, so I'll go ahead, let me minimize this here in the background. Um, so here we have the particles.js, and I'm going to give it a background color so we can see this a bit better. And I'll uncheck background transparent for particles. I'll set it to white and uh, we can have line link there. Yeah, I'll set the line link to white and then I'll have it bounce for the movement. I'll have it uh, bounce so we can see it bounce within the container there. So we have move bounce and move mode is bounce. All right, so there we have the widget container and we have the particles within the container. And if I click on the widget here and I go to resize, we can see that it says responsive with here. So now if I go to file preview page and browser, and there we have the particles bouncing within the widget container. And if I resize, it resizes as well, just like that. And it bounces within the resized container. Uh, so that's a new update. You can now set the widget container to be responsive. So when you resize the browser, uh, the widget container gets smaller and the particles bounce within the, uh, the responsive container there. So if I set it to wider, we can see it maybe a bit better. I could even set it to 100% width, uh, which could be an interesting effect. So there is 100% width, I resize, and it bounces within the container there. And even if it wasn't, I could do something like this. And it is responsive. All right looks good so that was the first update the second update is the full screen widget so i'll go to my library panel again and i'll type in particles.js and i'll bring in the particles.js widget full screen and here when you add the full screen you just need to place the widget here on your adobe muse website and um, it'll add the particles to, uh, to the entire browser uh, so here what i'm going to do actually is go to my cc libraries and add these five colors to my swatches panel by right clicking on the colors and clicking add to swatches. Uh, then in here in the particles.js, uh, we're gonna leave the background transparent for particles. Um, I'm gonna leave it this color here um, and I'm gonna change the number of particles to 40 because I'm gonna add five to create that first effect uh, there um, in, in, in the beginning. And then for the line link, I'm gonna uh, uncheck enable line link. And for interactivity, I don't want any interactivity there. Um, so that's it for that. And if I go to file preview page and browser, we now have the particles within the browser. Looks good. So I'm going to recreate or copy this widget five times and change the colors to create that effect uh, that was in the beginning of this video. So here I'll just go to particles. I'll change the color to this color here. 
and we also want to change the instance number. Uh, for every new particles.js, you want to change the instance number. So we have instance number two. This one I'll change to instance number three. Particles will do green. Then I'll paste again. And we'll do four. And I'll change the color here. And I'll paste one more time. Just like that. And what's great about the full screen uh, particles here is that they work like layers. And I'll show that in a bit. So you can put elements behind or on top of the particles. So there we have par five particle uh, JS full screen. And if I preview in the browser, we now have that interesting effect with all these different color particles in here. And we could even add a line link, let's say for one of them. Um, that could be an interesting effect. Enable line link. And then there'll be a line in between some of them, just like that. So it can make for a really interesting effect there. And it fills the entire browser. I can resize the browser and the particles will fit inside the browser, just like that. Looks good. All right. so. There's the, the full screen update, and there was uh, something else that I wanted to cover. Um, but yeah, basically, I'll add, I'll add the logo here at the bottom just to recreate the the uh, example in the beginning. So I'll bring the Muse for You logo right in here, and I'll resize it 100 by 100. I'll pin it to the bottom right, just like this. And I'll go to File, Pre oops, not Upload file preview page in browser, just like that. The other thing I wanted to show is the layer uh, kind of idea. So here I'll just create uh, five circles. And I'll copy them just like this. And we'll just do five circles here at the top. And let me align them evenly. So I'll align to selection and distribute spacing um, vertically there. All right, and then I'll color each of these uh, with the colors here. OK, and then if I go to my layers panel, we can see the full screen uh, widgets here, the full screen particle .js, and then we see the circles up here. So what I'm going to do is intersperse uh, these in between the widgets so we can kind of see the particles going on, going on top and going below the elements. All right, so we can see this blue one here has a few uh, particles going over it. The pink one here has uh, a few particles. The green one here has one particle. Uh, the dark blue is probably the top, the at the very top, so no particles are going over it. And we can see that a few particles are going over the yellow um, color here. So you can arrange it so that uh, different elements, and I can move this down a little bit so we can see it better. So you can either set it um, so the particles are below the element or on top. If in the layers panel, the element is on top of the particle.js that, uh, that has been added, then the particles.js will be under it. But if the element is under the particles.js widget um, here in the layers panel, then the particles.js will be over the element. So you can kind of play with that in the layers panel. And if you want the particles to go over the element, you can have it do that uh, by changing the order in the layers panel. Uh, so that's it for the updates to the particles.js widget 1.3. Uh, we have the full screen uh, particles.js widget, which fills the entire browser. And we also, uh, for the, the particles.js widget here, you can have it be responsive with so that the widget container uh, changes size when resizing the browser. Um, so, so those are the updates. And to get access to this widget, uh, you simply go to museforyoushop.com. And here you can click on the pop-up. And here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, the particles.js widget is right down here. And here, if you wanted to purchase individually, you can click Add to Cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.